This video was made possible by Wix. If you're ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. From the people who dig eating dirt to those who just can't quit shopping, just what is an addiction? Why is it that we can't seem to stop doing certain things? Well, one way of explaining this human phenomenon is the persistent urge to repeat harmful behavior despite obvious negative consequences. Some addictions are perfectly common. These habits such as smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, or shooting heroin are what normally spring to mind when we think of addictive habits. But there are some behaviors out there that at first glance might not appear to be addictive in nature, but have just the same addictive hold over those practicing the habit as the alcoholic or the compulsive gambler. Not all addicts resemble the homeless junkie begging for coin on the street. Some are high-flying executives or accomplished athletes. Some are just simply playing games on the internet each and every day. In today's episode of The Infographic Show, that's what we'll be looking at. The 5 Strangest Things You Can Be Addicted To First up, let's have a look into the science of addiction. What exactly is considered an addiction, and how do we define it? According to the American Society of Addiction Medicine, addiction is, we quote, a chronic disease of brain reward, motivation, memory, and related circuitry. Dysfunction in these circuits lead to characteristic biological, psychological, social, and spiritual manifestations. This is reflected in an individual pathologically pursuing reward and or relief by substance use or other behaviors. In other words, addiction is the inability to stop doing what makes one feel good or stop doing that which relieves pain. Often the pain is caused by the removal of the substance or the behavior that one is addicted to. Without treatment, addiction associated with high-risk behavior or substances of a dangerous nature can lead to imprisonment, hospitalization, or premature death. A 2006 study by Stanford University discovered that 6% of Americans are addicted to shopping. And of course, all of us need to shop, perhaps even on a daily basis. But there is a line drawn in the sand between the ordinary habitual shopper and the compulsive shopper. The compulsive or obsessive shopper devotes much of his or her life to the art of purchasing goods. He or she will hide purchases from his or her spouse or family. Once that cash register swipes his or her credit card and the item has been bought, a bolt of dopamine rewards the compulsive shopper, like a bolt of feel-good lightning. It's for this reason that compulsive shoppers must return again and again to the shopping mall for that hit of retail bliss. If they are without the resources to shop, feelings of depression, a loss of control, irritation, and anger develop, which are telltale symptoms of addiction withdrawal. When you factor in the financial cost of continual shopping, this is a real addiction that requires treatment. Cosmetic surgery is on the rise across the world, with millions choosing to enhance their physical appearance. For most folks choosing to commit to these surgical procedures, there is little real harm. But for an estimated 10% of people who want cosmetic surgery, things could get out of hand. BDD, or body dysmorphic disorder, is often at the beginning and the end of a decision to undergo cosmetic surgery for those with addictive tendencies. This condition leads to the sufferer undergoing multiple surgical procedures in the hope of achieving some kind of presupposed image of physical perfection. Putting aside for one moment the obvious health and financial costs of repeated surgical procedures, there are underlying physiological issues concerning self-worth and appreciation that would be better addressed before undergoing the knife. This obsessive thinking about the image of oneself is addictive and repetitive in nature, and obviously the vicious cycle of cosmetic operations often leads to horrific physical results. BDD is thought, like most addictions, to be caused by a combination of genetic predisposition. If a family member has BDD, your chances of having it increase. An imbalance of serotonin in the brain and environmental factors including magazines, television, and social media bombarding society with their image of supposed beauty. Kim Kardashian has a lot to answer for. Trichotillomania, or trick, is the compulsive pulling of one's own hair and is said to affect as many as 11 million Americans. This impulse control mind disorder can be so extreme in some cases that it results in the trick sufferer having bald patches on his or her head. Hair can be pulled from the head or the body or wherever else hair is known to grow. Much like a caged parrot will pluck at its own feathers, those persons who suffer from the condition often experience feelings of anxiety and tension that are relieved momentarily as they pull at their own fall. Follicles. Of course, this, like all addictions, results in a vicious circle of repeated behavior, resulting in negative consequences. Impulse control disorders are slightly different from bona fide addictions, but both stem from feelings of loss of control and anxiety. 
People who suffer from these compulsive conditions can be treated using a combination of CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy and antidepressants to get to the root of their hair pulling obsession. Another strange addiction and compulsive condition is known as pica and revolves around the phenomenon of eating non-food items such as ice, wood, and even feces. The craving for eating earthy stuff like dirt and mud is known as geophagia. Doctors are a little stumped as to why this addictive condition exists, but some have postulated that perhaps it could derive from mineral deficiencies such as iron or zinc in the body. Pregnant women have displayed a particular leaning toward an urge to consume strange non-food items, so perhaps the unborn child requires the minerals. Some experts believe that this behavior may be related to autism spectrum disorder. This addiction is thankfully quite easy to treat in comparison with other addictive behaviors, using a combination of therapy and environmental education. But if it's also part of a wider addictive condition such as anorexia or bulimia, obviously the problems manifest and the treatment becomes much more difficult. Food addictive disorders are probably the most difficult of all addictions to treat, as the patient must eat food to survive, but has an aversion to nourish themselves. No infographic show episode focusing on addiction would be complete without a mention of the internet, gaming, and social media. This addiction is not so much strange, but quite possibly epidemic. Do you obsessively check Facebook for status updates and likes? Do you play games on the internet each and every day? Does this internet activity interfere with your work, school, family, and social life? If so, then you may well be suffering from CIU, compulsive internet use, PIU, problematic internet use, or as some have wittily phrased it, eye disorder. This internet addiction, while not being officially recognized as a disorder by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, is still a troubling phenomenon in today's society. The widespread visibility throughout the world of citizens glued to their connected devices is omnipresent, from Europe to the Americas and across Asia and Australasia. The majority of citizens are glued to their phones as they navigate streets like zombies. Some reports have stated that up to 40% of the world's population is addicted to computers, cell phones, or tablet devices. And by addicted, we mean they have trouble not using them. They suffer from nervousness and anxiety, and when they do use the internet, they experience little jolts of dopamine when someone likes or comments on their latest activity. Researchers collectively consider internet addiction a true concept, but is it any more of an addiction than other media resources in the past such as books, television, and crossword puzzles? This we will leave to you to decide. We've lately been kind of addicted to working on our website. Do you have a website yet? If not, we suggest using Wix. Wix is the perfect platform to create any kind of hobby or professional website that you can think of. Whether you need a website for your space photography or you're looking to advertise your new spaceship building business, Wix has a solution for it all. Create the amazing website that you've been thinking about and support the infographics show at the same time by going to wix.com slash go slash infographics or by clicking the link in the description. Don't wait until it's too late. Get a head start today with the amazing website you deserve. So what's the strangest thing that you've been addicted to? How does it stack up with our list of strange and not so strange addictions? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to watch our other video called Top 10 Internet Hackers. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you all again next time.